Hi friends and welcome to the channel. In Power Apps and Dynamics 365, we have the humble tooltip or description on a field that can give users a hint about what should be entered in the field. Like mine is called meeting, what in the world does that mean? And these tooltips are fine, but you do have to hover over a certain area to make it visible, and they're not super obvious sometimes. Sometimes you need something a little bit more obvious, like the recommendation light bulb here, and you might also need to take some kind of an action automatically, like updating another field over here, the preferred method of contact, like that. And then sometimes it needs to be super, super obvious, something that a user couldn't possibly miss. And you can use an error message like this to make sure they see it. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create all three of these. So let's get started. I've got a few things open already. Back here at make.powerapps.com, under Dataverse and Tables, I'm just using the built-in contact table. And then to view my updates on the UI, I'm using the Dynamics 365 sales application because everything is ready to go. But this works the same way in a Power Apps model-driven app if that's what you want to use instead. So back in Dataverse over here, let me open up the columns for contact. And I've already created the columns that we can use. The three completed ones that I just showed you are here, but I created three other ones that we can work on together. Down here, my meeting, there's one for error message, one for recommendation, one for tooltip. Nothing real special here. I'm just using a single line of text or a choice for the recommendation one. And then I've added them to the form, the completed ones that I just showed you, and then the two complete ones we'll work on together. If you need the basics of working with tables or forms and whatnot, I've included some links below in the description, so check those out. Okay, let's start with the tooltip here, my meeting a tooltip. At the moment, when you hover over it, you'll see it just brings up the name of the field or the column. So let's add this one. These are really easy to do. My meeting tooltip. This is actually the description for your column or your field right here. So the thing that we want to display in the tooltip is how did you meet this contact? That's it, we can save. And now if we go back to our contact, just create a new one here. And now if we hover over my meeting tooltip, you'll see we get that additional message. How did you meet this contact? Easy peasy. Now let's talk about the recommendation. To do a recommendation, this is actually a business rule. And broadly speaking, business rules let you do front end development or validation without actually having to write any code. You can do things like making fields required, making them appear, making them disappear, changing the values of other fields and so on. So let's come back here to make.powerapps.com. And to get to business rules, you'll want to scroll all the way up on your table. And up here, rather than being under columns, we want to go to business rules. These are the two that I created earlier. Let's start with a new one. We'll call this meeting recommendation. And then I'll just collapse this for now. Now let me just remind you how this is currently working. So if I come back here to the completed version, we're saying meeting recommendation. And then when somebody selects cold call, that's when we display the recommendation. And it's going to give some additional detail saying, hey, if this was a cold call, then the preferred method of contact should be set to phone. That, of course, right over here. This is the field that we want to update. The example's a little bit contrived. Just because it's a cold call doesn't mean that a phone is the preferred method of contact. But I just want to show you how these work and how you can apply an action to some other part of the form if you want to. So the condition or the thing that we want to check for is whether this is a cold call. So back here, click on condition. Just give it a human friendly name. The entity should automatically fill into contact because that's the table that we were in when we created the rule. Source will be entity and then the field. This was my meeting recommendation right here. And we're going to say if that equals value of cold call, then we want to do something. Make sure you hit the apply button right down here in order to apply those changes. And so if that's true, now we can make a recommendation. That'll bring up the little light bulb and the instructions. The recommendation is under components here on the right, and it's a type of an action. So just click on this and you'll want to drag it over, drop it right here on this plus sign. 
So it's saying, if this condition is true, if it's a cold call, then do this. If it were false, you would put it down here. That's what the X stands for. But this is gonna be true. We'll do a recommendation, and then we'll fill in the details here. I'll actually just leave this as new recommendation, and we will say this field, the my meeting recommendation, and then we want a title and details. The title is gonna look like this, the bold area, and then these are the details. They're just text. They don't actually do anything, but they should give the user some idea of what they should be entering and or what you want to have happen when you click the apply button. So back here for title, I'll just paste in some text here. And then for recommended details, text again. Now you'll automatically get an action, if we expand details here, for every recommendation. And this action is the thing that will execute or get applied when you click on the apply button. In this case, when we hit apply, we're gonna update this preferred method of contact over here to be phone. And you'll see that that's working. So let's build that out. We'll say new action, the field in this case that we're taking an action on is gonna be the preferred method of contact. So let's scroll down to find that. Here we go. And the value of that should be phone and apply. And then one thing I'm noticing here, I'm actually glad this happened because this is a common gotcha. Down here, you'll see the text view of what the business rule is doing. And you'll see that my title and details didn't get filled in, even though I filled them in. So if we come back up here, You'll see these are all blank. This is because I didn't hit the apply button. So just a word to the wise, make sure you hit apply after everything you do. I'll go back and fill these out really quickly. This was my meeting recommendation. I'll fill in the title and details and be right back. Okay, this time I'm going to hit apply and you'll see the preview or the text there of what this rule is doing. So just to recap, if the user has selected that this is a cold call for the my meeting recommendation, then we're gonna display recommendation. And when they click the apply button, this action is gonna happen, which is setting the preferred method of contact to phone. All right, now you do need to save this in the top right. And you'll notice that the name of the business rule gets updated when you save. And then you also need to activate. So let's click on activate. Confirm that's what you wanna do. And incidentally, if you wanna come back and edit this rule or make changes to it afterwards, you need to deactivate it. Otherwise you won't be able to make any changes. And you'll see the deactivate button there. All right, let's go try this out on our contact now. I'll just refresh, we'll get a new one. So our tooltip is still working as expected. And then this one, once we select cold call, we should get that recommendation popping up. There's the light bulb. And if we click on that, We'll get the instructions, and if we click apply, then our preferred method of contact should update to phone. Very nice. All right, the last one to do is the error message, and this is actually a business rule as well. So let's come back here to business rules. I will close out of this one that we were using before. I'll just close out of that tab. And then back here, let's create a new business rule. We'll call this meeting error message, and then I'll collapse that for now. This one, there are different times you can display the error message. In my case, I wanted it to be super obvious like I'm doing down here. I'm just saying if this field contains no data, then display the error message. You could check for certain values in here. You could check for values on other fields. There's a lot of things you can do, but here the condition is just that there's no data in the field. So let's go add that as a condition. If field has no data, and here the field that we're checking is my meeting error message. And then there are several choices for operator. Here we're going to go with does not contain data, but you'll see the other options as well. And that's it. Just make sure you hit the apply button. If it contains no data, then the error message is a component. So up here on the right, show error message. And this will drop on the right hand side, that plus mark. The field to display it on is gonna be that same field. You could set it on a different field if you needed to. So my meeting error message, and the message will just be, how did you meet this contact? Again, hit apply, 
And then like we did before, we'll need to save and activate. Confirm that. And now let's go check that this one's working. I'll do a refresh again. And there we go. So there's no data in the field. It's displaying the error message. If we type something in though, like networking event, and then tab out of the field, that error message will go away. So that's it folks, three different ways that you can help guide your users with the tooltip, the recommendation, or the error message from subtle to very in your face, depending on what you need to do. I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.